This question asks us for the magnetic force exerted on a charged particle. That force is given by this equation, so that in parts A and B, we have two cross products to do. Let me write out all the components of this cross product, so we can have them for reference. Here's the x component, the y component, and last, the z component. The velocity in this problem is in the xy plane, so I'll zero out the z components of the velocity. And in part a, the magnetic field is in the x direction, so I'll zero out the y and the z components of the magnetic field. That gives us these remaining terms. The magnetic force is in the z direction multiplied by q times negative vy bx. We can rearrange that like this. and then substitute all the values we're given. Finding that the force in part A is in the negative z direction with a magnitude of 6.68 times 10 to the minus four newtons. In part B, the velocity stays the same, but the magnetic field changes from the x direction to the z direction. So let me restart on the magnetic field components over here. And now zero out the x components and the y components. And here are the surviving terms. The force is now given by the charge Q times I hat multiplied by Vy Bz and then minus J hat Vx Bz. We can again substitute all the values we were given to find the magnetic force in part B has components in the x and y direction. They're both positive and their values are given here.